Hey everyone, hope you guys are doing good. In today's session, we'll be going over using NetSuite's REST API to pull in data into your local machine via CSV or move, insert it into a database through a NetSuite data retrieval tool that we've built internally at DataAnts. So it's an application that can be deployed inside your, your own uh, machine or VM or your server. So it doesn't require NetSuite's ODBC or any paid solution. This is a free uh, solution that you could leverage, which uses REST API. So the way it works is once you deploy it on your server, uh, you can write any entries or any, any SQL, as a matter of fact, that you could pull from NetSuite, and then you could download it or insert it into a database of your choice. So in my example, I've um, built it out for MySQL, but you could, could change it uh, to your liking. So the goal is I, write, I wrote this query and I'm clicking on fetch data. So what happens is once I click on this, it takes its time, but then it pulls out that data in a CSV format. So you, there you go, you see here. Um, and it, it gets, I'm only pulling in a thousand rows at a time because there's a limit on the REST API side of things. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, you can always use pagination to like have a different set of data uh, being pulled over. So, okay, so let, let's get started on uh, this, the, the syntax and the, the scripting side of things. Okay, so I've basically built out a Python web app to get this to work. So so before we get started, I'm, I'm assuming that you all know how to create consumer key, secret, token key, token secret. Um, so this would be the prerequisites for the same. So making sure that you have access to um, basically write queries, um, it, the role integration uh, record, which basically gives you the token key, token secret, consumer key, consumer secret. Realm is nothing but your account ID. So have all of this filled out, right? And then this is basically my database in case you want to use uh, to push your NetSuite data into a database, you need this. Otherwise, you can just use the CSV option. So what my script is currently doing is I've built out a, a, like a, a HTML web page, this indexed on the screen here. So with that, I'm using um, like a post method, which has how you connect with NetSuite. And uh, what it does is it basically we're writing a query um, like in using the post method to then connect via OAuth and uh, use that to like basically basically connect using this URL. So it's sweettalk.api.netsuite.com. Make sure that it's REST v1 sweetql. So the rest of the headers are also like set up. Make sure this is exactly the same. I'm also using pagination because we want to like make sure that we're not hitting the REST API limits. So yeah, basically once I do this, the rest of the script is pretty much self-explanatory. Um, I wanna walk you through each each part of this. I'm gonna paste uh, this, the script and the steps I followed, but I wanted to give you all a way and a way to like make this work in your own instance. So we have deployed this for other clients too who've been using uh, NetSuite's REST API because they would uh, rather use this if they did not have a lot of data that they wanted to like, you know, um, accumulate on a daily basis and build their own databases rather than like relying on ODBC. So this would be a great um, technique to get started on. So yeah, feel free to let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Um, and the links are in the description below. Thank you all. Queries are